Hello everyone, my name is Paige and today I'm going to be doing a book haul. As most people know, I spent a year in London living there to finish my master's degree and I'm all done. I will find out my final results in two weeks, which is very exciting and very nerve-wracking. But now I'm back home in California and I have a bunch of stuff here that I've gotten in my inbox and I can't wait to show you guys, so let's jump right into it. This is going to be kind of a weird order that I'm doing it in, but... I just have everything kind of stacked up so it's like not going to be broken down into any particular sections. I'd be a little chaotic. Alright, one of the first books I got this month was one that I purchased for myself and that is The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. I really wanted the UK edition of this because the American edition has those new covers that I really don't like and I wanted this one to match the other copies that I have and it's very beautiful. I love it. Please read this series if you haven't. It's incredible. Another book that I purchased while I was in England was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh my gosh, I love this book so much. It's probably one of my favorites of the year and I just really, really wanted to own a copy of it because it's so good and I know I'm going to reread it probably sooner rather than later. I love this version. I really wanted a paperback because I love paperbacks and I picked this up from Waterstones and I love it. We've already got a really good green dress theme going on so I'm going to see if I can find another book in my pile that has maybe something green. Ah, I found one! This next one I randomly got from a publisher and it's Foul is Fair, a novel by Hannah Kappen. This also came with these cute little buttons in this bag, like one of them is the cover of the book and then the other ones I guess are kind of related to like things that happen in this book. I've kind of seen this around, don't really know what it's about. I think it's about this girl that goes to a school and she wants to kill some of the guys that are there. I'm honestly I'm not really sure. comes out in February of 2020 so I have a while to get to this one. I'll probably pick it up sometime later this year. Thank you very much to Wednesday Books for sending this to me. Another book that I purchased while I was in England was Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. This is the paperback version. If you know me, you know I love The Book Thief. I now really love Bridge of Clay. I think they're both really fantastic novels written by Marcus Zusak and I love him so much. So now I'm trying to collect different copies of Bridge of Clay just as I've been doing the same with uh, The Book Thief. So of course I had to get the paperback UK edition. It was on sale at Waterstone so I just picked it up. And it's very beautiful. I can't really decide like which edition of the um, Bridge of Clay books I like best so far, but I don't know. Maybe this will be one of them because it looks it looks really cool, and it almost like perfectly matches the UK like 10th anniversary edition of The Book Thief, so that's very cool. These next two I purchased in England like literally the day before I left, so it was like the last day that I was there. And the first one is Caraval by Stephanie Garber, and then the second one is Legendary. I've read both of these. I love them very much. Legendary is very cool because it has the stained edges on it. It's a Waterstones exclusive. Um, but I had a bunch of like rewards points that I could use at Waterstones, so I got both of these for like seven pounds or something, so it was a really great deal. And I love how they look together. When Finale comes out in paperback for the UK copies, I'll have to snag myself a copy on the book depository because these are going to look so cool together on my shelf. Okay, so speaking of books that I purchased while I was in Europe, um, I went to Germany for a week with my boyfriend at the end of August, and we went to this amazing bookstore in Berlin. I think it was called Deusman. I could be saying that wrong, but it was just so beautiful and amazing. I think I'll have pictures here while I'm talking about it. And oh, it was just an amazing experience. I think I spent like an hour there looking at books and having my boyfriend take pictures of me. And he was very, very sweet and very patient with me. So thank you very much, Michael. Anyway, while I was there, I picked up a hard copy German version of Bridge of Clay. Um, this is Nichts Weniger aus ein Wunder. So I was asking my mom like how that translates because this clearly doesn't say Bridge of Clay. Um, and it, she told me it's like, I don't know, something, like not something, I don't know, wonderful, I, I don't know. It, it's, I think it's a prettier title than Bridge of Clay. This one's like sealed up, like a lot of the hard copy versions that they have in Germany are like this, which is very cool, so this will stay nice and fresh for a while. Um, I'm not planning on opening this unless I'm going to go see Marcus Zuzak again for a signing, which would be so cool. I hope he comes to the states again. Very cool copy. Again, trying to collect as many of these as I can, so 
this German version is off my list. And then I got two other books at that same bookstore, and they are Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, both by Lee Bardugo. Obviously, again, these are the German versions, and they have the beautiful, beautiful stained edges. It's interesting that Crooked Kingdom has the orange, because I would have expected, like, maybe red or more gold, but I love it. I think they're both very beautiful, and I love this series so much, so I can't wait to put these on my bookshelf next to my American ones. Okay, this next package was also a surprise one one that I got in the mail from St. Martin's Press. Um, thank you very much to St. Martin's for sending these to me. It's a set of three little romance books. They're all by Melanie Johnson, and the first one is Smitten by the Brit. I am so excited to read this because, like I said, it just came back from London, and I'm sure that I'll be missing London very much. So yeah, I, and the Palace of Westminster is on the front. I know exactly where they're standing on this bridge. I don't know. I, I just think I'm really going to enjoy this, hopefully, so I'm very excited for that. And then the next one is Getting Hot with the Scott. Um, I'm also very excited to read this one because I've been to Scotland and I love Scotland very, very much. I wish I could go back, honestly. It's just so beautiful up there. But anyway, also really excited for this one for very obvious reasons. And then the last one is once Upon a Bad Boy. This one I don't think is set in the UK at all. Honestly, just excited to get to this one as well. All of these look super cute. Can't wait to read them. I won this next book in a giveaway, which is very exciting, and that is The Good Luck Girls by Charlotte Nicole Davis. I had seen this book kind of floating around on Goodreads and Twitter and Instagram, so it's very cool to have a copy for myself. This one comes out in October, so next month it's coming out very soon. I'm not 100% sure what this is about. I think it's like a fantasy inspired novel but I love the cover very intrigued that's honestly why I entered the giveaway because I was like oh my god well everyone's been talking about it and now I want a copy for myself so very very cool and very excited to get to this one and thank you very much to Tor Teen for sponsoring the giveaway I think I'm kind of getting into the books that I want to give away here there was three of them so the next one is The Mall by Megan McCafferty I really like that Wednesday books when their books are coming out like much later in the year that they don't really have a cover because this kind of mimics actually I'll show you like when I got You'd Be Mine by Erin Hahn which is a fantastic book and you should totally read this if you like music and country stars what is that movie called has Bradley Cooper in it and Lady Gaga uh A Star is Born if you like A Star is Born read You'd Be Mine because it's really good but anyway so I got this one a while ago and then it even just says on sale winter 2019 and this one says on sale spring 2020, so I really like how like very similar they are and they're gonna look very cool together on my shelf even though they're not by the same author at all or anything. Anyway, what I mean to say is I'm very excited to check this out. I won this on Goodreads, so thank you to Goodreads and Wednesday Books for hosting this giveaway. Okay, so I had completely forgotten that I won another one in a giveaway because it just so very recently came to my inbox, and that is A Match Made in Mahendi, and this is by Nandini Bajpai. I might be saying that wrong. Anyway, I won this on the novel's website. It was very, very nice of them to send me this. I really like this bookmark because it's very true by me books. Anyway, this one has been on my wish list for such a long time and I really can't wait to get to it. It comes out in September. Let's see what day. It doesn't say. Well, it doesn't say what day it comes out, but it comes out this month some point. I'm very excited to read this because I hear if you like When Dimple Met Rishi, then you'll like this one, and I love When Dimple Met Rishi, and I love Sonia Menon's writing, so I'm hoping this will be kind of similar to that, and I'm very, 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 very excited. Okay, another one that I got in the mail from a publisher, and I specifically requested this one because everyone has been talking about it, and the publisher has been hyping it up a lot, is Frankly in Love by David Yoon. If Yoon, if the last name Yoon sounds familiar, it's, um, this is Nicola Yoon's husband that has written this book. Um, this one comes out, I think, also in two days, so this one's also coming out very, very soon. But everyone's been reading it and saying it's very good and it's very thick, so I really need to get to it. I really love the cover. I know there's like a pre-order thing going on right now where the first editions of the book will have like sprayed edges, which are very beautiful, so if you want to get a copy, get it now rather than later, I guess. I'm very excited to check this out and see how his writing is, honestly. Another one that I got from St. Martin's, they've sometimes just randomly sent me like adult books, which I don't really read. So this one that they sent me was a total surprise, and that is The Widow of Rose House, and this is by Diana Biller. This one comes out in October, so next month. Honestly, I don't know anything about this book. I probably won't even read it just because I, like I said, don't read adult books, um, so hopefully I can pass it on to someone who will like it. it 
is historical fiction. I do like historical fiction, but not the what um, time period this is set in, which is like the late 1800s. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll end up getting to it, but otherwise I'm probably just going to send it off to someone else. And then St. Martin's also sent me another book that I think is also historical fiction, but I wanted to show you how they like wrapped this little thing up. So they sent the book in this like little silk scarf, which is very cool. So I'm going to take this off so you can see the cover. So this is A Hundred Sons by Karen Tanaby. I might be saying that last name wrong. This comes out in April of next year, so it's like a long ways away. I'm just going to put that right here. Again, another historical fiction book. This one's set in the 1930s. That's literally all I know about it. I don't know if I'm going to get to this one either because, again, I don't read adult fiction and I don't know if I would be interested in this, but who knows? You know, maybe it'll surprise me. And thank you very much, St. Martin's, for that and the silk scarf. I love it very much. Okay, I've got one more from St. Martin's that they sent me. Again, another adult book. This one is Things You Save in the Fire by Catherine Center, and it also came with this little um, novella, The Girl in the Plane. From what I saw from St. Martin's Instagram, they sent this book to like everybody. I mean, so many people got this book. So I'm really interested to see if it's good. I don't know anything about it. I think it's about a firefighter. I really like the cover actually, but again, I don't read adult fiction. So we'll see if I end up getting to this since it's a hardcover. I'm like a finished copy. I'm not in a super big rush to get to this, but we'll see how it is if I end up getting to it. Okay, I got another book and I'm really not sure how I got this and how this person got my address. It was a little worrying. I've never heard of this author, never heard of this book. I think maybe I entered a good giveaway for it on Goodreads, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, the book is not quite the same old song, and this is by Lindsay Wimet. Wimet? It says in the front here, a story of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, just not quite the way you'd think. I love rock and roll. I love classical, you know, classic rock. Not classical music. Oh, God, no. This is a finished copy, so again, not in a huge hurry to get to it. Not a huge fan of this cover, honestly. It doesn't do a lot for me, so when it showed up in my inbox, I was kind of like, oh. So, kind of interested to check this out, just based on the music aspect. I love books about music, and we'll see how it is. This next book I got from Harlequin, which uh, is pretty rare. They don't really send me a lot of stuff, but it is a finished copy of Crown of Coral and Pearl by Mara Brotherford. Again, another book that I had seen kind of around on Twitter and Goodreads. Um, I really like the cover. I'm very interested in this just based on like the cover alone. I don't know anything about it. I is it like a mermaid book? Well, it's royalty something inspired, I think. So I love books about royalty and princes and princesses, so I'll probably like this one. Again, probably won't get to this one right away because I got a million other things on my shelf that I need to read, which I always say and then I end up reading like the stupidest books, but anyway. I'm very excited to get to this eventually. It's also quite thick. I love it. Ooh, which one should I talk about next? Oh, totally forgot to mention, but with that um, other book, Things You Save in the Fire, they also sent me, I can get it out, they also sent a candle, um, which is a little ironic if this book is actually about firefighters. I'm gonna try to get this off. Oh duh, it's twist. Mmm, it's scented. It smells kind of musky, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to maybe try burning it around Christmas and see how it is, but yeah, that's a really cool, ironic swag item to include with that book. Okay, so these next four books were all sent to me by Penguin, and they were all sent together, so there's four big, big hardcovers here. I'm gonna go through each one individually. Actually, I should say the reason they sent me these is because I'm doing an Instagram post for them in a couple weeks. I think next week, so keep an eye out for that. That's very fun. The first one is Ziggy... Oh, God. First one is Ziggy Stardust and Me. This is by James Brandon. Is this about Bowie? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't really know what this is about, but I love the cover, and I think I saw other people that had arcs of these, and they seemed to really enjoy it, so I'm very excited to check this one out. And then the next one is one why I actually, like, requested this, because I really want to get to this one, and it's The Stars and the Blackness Between Them. Oh my god, I love this cover. It was initially what drew me in, and then a while ago I read the synopsis, what this was about, but I've since kind of forgotten, so I don't want to say the wrong thing. Just look it up on Goodreads. I'm very, very excited to get to this one. So this next one is actually one that I got an arc of originally, and that's As Many Nows as I Can Get by Shanna Youngdahl. So I now have two copies. I'll probably end up getting rid of the finished copy because I just personally like paperbacks more, so that's why I just really like arcs. Very excited to get to this one. This one came out last month in August. I know that when I had the arc, I had said that I didn't really know what this was about just because the back synopsis didn't really say much, so I I still don't really know what this is about, but I'm very excited to get to it based on the cover alone because it looks really good. And then the last book in that stack that they sent me was We Speak in Storms by Natalie Lund. Oh wow, look. 
surprise, another gorgeous cover, and a book that I don't know anything about. Unfortunately, I just haven't gotten the time since I've come home to kind of like check out books on Goodreads and see what they're about. So I really need to sort through a lot of these and figure that out. If the synopsis is as good as this cover, then I'm very excited to check it out. Okay, now we're getting down to just a couple of the last ones. I'm looking at them here on my floor and these are the ones that I'm like most excited for. So I'm going to start with the chapter samplers. The first one being the Supernova chapter sampler by Marissa Meyer. Supernova comes out... when does it come out? Ooh, I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Huh. Well, I've gotten the first two arcs in the series each year from Fierce Raids, so thank you very much to Fierce Raids for sending this one along as well. It's gonna fit right next to Renegades and Arch Enemies. I don't know if you could see it on camera, but it's all the way down that end of the shelf. I love this cover. I know that when I first read Renegades, I didn't really like it, and I'd like to give it a reread, especially with the audiobook um, being out now, but when I read the arc, I was kind of like, ugh. I just want to give it another chance, especially now with all three books coming out, and then I can just read them like boom, 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 right after the other. Again, thank you very much to Fierce Reads for sending this along to me. All right, the next chapter sampler is Rebel by Marie Lu. I guess this is going to be the fourth book in the, actually I have it on my shelf, in the Legend series, which I have all of them. I have them signed. I've met Marie Lu. I think twice and I haven't read it at all. Everyone says Legend is really good. I know when it first came out people were like raving over it so I'm very excited. I'm just trying to find when this comes out. This comes out October 1st so it's coming out very soon. I also love this cover. Oh love it love it love it. All right let's get down to the two I'm most excited for. Okay so Penguin also sent me a very nice package which is the beautiful arc. Oh my gosh so excited. So the box here says it begins with a look. It ignites with a kiss. It always ends in blue. Blood. I love Renee Ahidi's. I'm probably saying that wrong. I love her writing. I love the Wrath and the Dawn series, so I'm very excited about this. That's garbage. We're gonna throw that away. And it came with this little envelope sealed wax thing that I haven't opened yet just because it looks so nice and I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin it. Plus, there's pictures of it on Instagram that I can read other people's. And then it came with the book itself. So Penguin so kindly sent me an arc of the beautiful and it comes out in October, so it's coming out very soon. It's a vampire novel and we haven't seen vampire novels a lot recently. So I'm very excited to see how this is going to be because let's face it, we all went through a Twilight phase. We all went through a Vampire Diaries phase. Maybe we'll now go through a, the beautiful phase. I don't know, but I'm very excited to see how this is. Again, very thick, and I love thick books, so very excited. And again, thank you to Penguin for sending me this very cute little package. I'm so, so excited. Thank you. Okay, the last book. Okay, so this one, when it landed in my inbox, I honestly was very surprised because I saw that other people on Instagram were getting copies, and I was like, oh. I want one. And then, surprise, surprise, this package shows up on my doorstep. Oh, bam! It's Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, when I read Wicked Saints last year, or earlier this year, I can't remember which, I was kind of torn on it. I really liked the premise, but there were certain things that just kind of confused me. And I had said in my video, which I will link down below in my review, that I wished that the second book was already here and like out so that maybe in the second book things would be explained a little bit further. And this is a huge hunker junker book. So I'm hoping that things will kind of more come together and the print, oh wow, that is small print. Anyway, this one comes out in April of next year. So probably going to put it to the side just for a little bit. Reread Wicked Saints and then read this because I'm just so darn excited for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Wednesday Books for sending me an early copy. All right, so that is all the books that I've got since the last time I was home, which is in June. A pretty good haul, honestly. A lot of stuff that kind of randomly got sent to me and I was like, oh, surprise. But I love when that happens. And obviously I love buying books, but I don't do it a lot anymore because I'm very poor and I don't have a job right now. So, <gasps> oh no. Thank you very much to all the publishers and everything that sent me stuff. Um, it's very, very appreciated. If you got anything exciting this month, let me know. Or if you're looking forward to any of these books, also let me know if you've already read them and you love them. Again, let me know because I need to know before I read stuff if it's good. I love reading other people's reviews, especially on Goodreads. They're just so good. That's everything I've gotten. I hope Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, you can find me down in the links below on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram if you want to keep more up to date with me on a live kind of thing versus like one video a month. Definitely check that out. Also, if you like my scrunchie, we're selling scrunchies now on SoCal Girls. We also sell um, book sleeves, but we 
sell the scrunchies for two dollars so they're very cheap and you can get one for yourself if you really like this one I highly recommend there everything is handmade by my mom I do kind of like the marketing aspect of it if you want to support like local indie you know shops definitely shop us I'll also leave a link for that down below otherwise I will see you guys in the next video bye bye